The transfer window is still ongoing and the club in the last few days have been linked to a fair few different players. In today's video though we are going to talk confirm news and discuss the sign and blizzard the club have entered as they have agreed multiple deals. Not only that but we'll also go over all the latest Celtic news from the last 24 hours. But first make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Celtic content. Former Celtic Academy star Ben Doak has attributed his experiences at Celtic for helping him handle his rise at Liverpool. The youngster went from Celtic Academy prospect to potentially the next big thing at Anfield. It was a massive blow for Celtic when Ben decided he would not be staying at the club and instead choose to make the move to Liverpool. There is an argument that he could have been a first team starter at Celtic by now, however his trajectory at Anfield appears to be infinite. Speaking about his cameo in the Chelsea vs Liverpool game and the pressure of playing in front of a large crowd, Doak cited his short stint in the Celtic first team squad as getting him accustomed to a large audience. Doak told the Liverpool website, Obviously I made a few appearances for Celtic before I came here as well, so I'm not used to it, I'll never be used to it, but I am more used to the big crowds than most lads my age would be, and also I'm going out to do what I've been doing my full life, so there's not really any reason to be scared. Ben Doak only made two first team appearances from the bench at Celtic under Ange Postagoglu. He got a cameo at the end of the pulsating 3-0 Glasgow derby, where Celtic took control of the title race. Doak also played the final 22 minutes against Dundee United, where the boys won 1-0. Doak is the antithesis of the issue Celtic have when bringing talented players through the ranks. It's not just good enough to get these lads in the door early, but we now have major clubs with financial clout circling our academy and picking up the talent before they need to pay a premium price. Whilst it's difficult to compete with these teams when they come calling, Celtic hardly make the issue difficult with a path to the first team not planned out well, and the opportunity young players get are lowland league games. Much to the excitement of Celtic fans, it was revealed on Monday evening that the champions are weighing up a move for young French fullback Quentin Merlin. News of a potential move have infused supporters, and here we will profile the man who the Hoops have reportedly scouted on several occasions. Currently plying his trade for Nantes in the French top flight, Merlin has been at the club his whole career and made a total of 64 appearances despite being just 21 years old. He helped his side to the Coupe de France triumph in 2022 and has 18 caps for the youth teams of France. At 21, Merlin is still an extremely young player, but he possesses a wealth of potential. In terms of play style, he is rather small at 5'7", but loves to get forward. Merlin likes to make both overlapping and underlapping runs to help out in attack, as well as making whipped curved crosses for strikers to get on the end of. His love for getting forward can leave him slightly vulnerable defensively though. This part of his game can be worked on, and at his age he is never going to be the finished article. Along with the attacking side of his game, passing is a key strength of Merlin's. Whether that be short one-twos or long balls, the 21-year-old is more than capable on the ball. For Brennan Rodgers' style of play, Merlin seems an ideal player. He has been a consistent starter for Nantes over the past few years and is undoubtedly a high profile talent. One imagines that if the hoops were to pull a deal off, it would cost a fair amount of money, but at the same time it would be a major coup and a statement of intent. A number of young Celtic players have recently signed their maiden professional deals with the club. A total of 13 boys penned new three year contracts at Parkhead on Monday. At the Hoops' academy, this news will be greatly welcomed. The most recent season was a vastly productive one for the champions' younger players as the B team won the Glasgow Cup and the under-18s triumphed in the Scottish Youth Cup. All new players who have signed deals will be aiming to contribute to such success in the future and their names are as follows. Calvin Bennett, Cole Crawford, Rhys Dargy, Roland Ferns, Marcus Gill, Finley Hale, Robbie Heron, Samuel Izguzu, Andrew Kyle, Jamie McKell, Tom Pickford, Robert Rockwall and Aidan Rice. In the first team, every young Celt has a number of role models to look up to. The likes of James Forrest and Callum McGregor both made it through the academy ranks at Celtic and have went on to have prosperous careers in the first team. All the boys who pen new deals will be eager to emulate the exploits of those who have gone before them, but it is not easy and without hard work and dedication, their talent will count for nothing. Celtic have agreed to sell fringe player is Marlo Soro, according to a report from Foot Mercato. The club are set to take a big financial loss on the midfielder, 
as we look to get him off the wage bill. The report says Celtic have reached an agreement with Valenciennes to transfer the player in exchange of €150,000. 67 Hell Hell previously discussed how Baita Jerusalem and Haypoel Bar Shiva were both credited as wanting the Ivorian midfielder. Of course it was from Israel that Celtic acquired the 25-year-old back in 2020, when Neil Lennon shelled out a £2 million fee for the battling midfielder from Ben Yehuda Tel Aviv. Sora hasn't had the best of careers at Celtic. Despite impressing early in the 10 in a row season, after just 23 appearances, he quickly found himself surplus to requirements after the arrival of Ange Postagoglu. Admittedly, he was used by the Australian earlier in his tenure, but that was more out of necessity as Postagoglu looked to rebuild the team. Soro was then shipped out on loan to Portugal where he spent a season out on loan at FC Oroca. In a fairly successful spell at the club, Soro made 30 appearances for Oroca and helped them to the European spots in Portugal's Primera Liga. But his future now lies elsewhere. Soro wasn't involved in any of Celtic's pre-season preparations under Brendan Rodgers this summer and it looks now that he could be on his way out of Glasgow sooner rather than later. Hopefully he can get the move that he wants. With just one international cap to his name, you would imagine Soro would be keen to get more football under his belt to revive his international career. Every summer several players from across the globe are linked with moves to Celtic. Some speculation over certain deals is bizarre and other speculation is rather plausible. Reports over the champion's interest in Quinton Merlin seems to be sensible, however links to Spurs' as Eric Dyer seems like we've hit a peak silly season. According to 90minute.com, Dyer is not in the immediate plans of ex-hoops gaffer Ange Postagoglu and the Australian's former side Amaya as a player. Dyer can operate in central defence and hold a midfield at 29 years of age. The England international is a physical presence with just a year left on his deal in North London. Wages and transfer fees would likely be a debilitating stumbling block in any deal. Several clubs are also said to be interested in Dyer, such as Monaco, Crystal Palace and Al Nazaire. All indications point to the link simply being paper talk. Every window, Celtic are mentioned as potential suitors for players of Dyer's ilk. And if this deal were to come off, it would be greatly surprising. Celtic fans, what do you make of our transfer business so far? And how many more additions do we need to make? Let me know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video, guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Remember, we have released our brand new Celtic t-shirts. We have our Brendan Rodgers Pope t-shirt and our Celtic Ultra t-shirts too. You can find them at CelticPower.com or just go down to the link in the description. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.